The name of this spirited little cult is R.D. Rambo, read by Karen Adams and Mark David. And you're watching the AHBA Legacy Futurity Championship for yearling colts and geldings. This is the 2023 Arabian Breeders World Cup in Scottsdale, Arizona. The second cold up is number 145, Mateo P.A., bred by Pegasus Arabians. Our third entry is number 123, Jaden E.N.B., bred by Synergy Enterprise Developments. And you can see this guy's got a really pretty chestnut coat. So only three colts in this competition. So that brings us back to the first one we saw, R.D. Rambo. He's a very rambunctious little colt. And then the other two entries are both chestnuts. Very light on his toes, isn't he? If you're enjoying this video, please click the like button. And if you subscribe, you'll be notified of more videos coming out soon. Typically, we have one a week that post on Saturday mornings. I mentioned the other two are chestnuts, and this one is a very dark bay color. Since there are only three entries, let's see if you can pick them in order as the judges pick them. So that was number one a second ago. Here's number two and number three. See which ones you like the best. And he comes in kicking and screaming. He uh, definitely has so much personality. Look at him bounce. And uh, each one now is going to be presented before the judges one at a time. Here's a nice close-up view and you can see that very typical Arabian head with the dish shaped face. I do have a few other videos from this particular event and I will put a link in the description and at the end of this video. Here's a nice look at him as the handler sets him up for the judges to also take a look. And now the second entry comes back in. This again is Mateo P.A. by Pegasus Arabians. Looks like he's got three white socks. I thought it was kind of funny because right here, it looks like he's touching noses with the bronze statue out in the middle of the arena. And now we get up close and personal with this fine looking colt. He looks pretty cool, doesn't he? How'd you like to own a horse like this one? So, Mateo P.A. heads out, and Jaden E.N.B. comes running back in. And right here, he comes to a screeching halt, and if that looks familiar, uh, that's in a video I did showing uh, highlights from the opening day. That also is in the playlist that I'll put a link at the end of this video for, and also I'll put a link in the description. And we get a close-up look at this guy too. He's got a white star on the front of his forehead. Right there, you can see that star pretty plainly. Well, we've had a good look at all three horses, so now it's time to see if you're able to pick them in order like this international panel of judges did. In third place for the Bronze Cup is number 123, Jaden ENB, bred by Synergy Enterprise Developments. The Silver Cup is won by number 145, Mateo P.A., bred by Pegasus Arabians. He looks down like, what's blowing in the wind down there? But then he stays nice and calm. And your Gold Cup winner is number 111, Mr. Personality, R.D. Rambo, read by Karen Adams and Mark David. I had him picked for first place, that one was pretty easy, but I had the other two flip-flopped. So how about you? Did you have them all three in order? Uh, just leave a comment, let us know how you did, or how bad you did, as the case may be. And uh, he also wonders what that is wrapped around him, but not quite so calm as the last one. And so R.D. Rambo goes out the way he came in, kicking and screaming. 
finally the trainer or groom or whoever that is uh, has pity on him and takes off the wreath and then he kind of settles down sort of. And again, you can click the box here to check out some more videos from this Arabian World Breeders' Cup competition. Thanks for watching and bye for now.